if the difference of the compound interest and simple interest on a sum of money for three years is rupees one eighty six, find the sum of money if the rate of interest in both the cases be ten percent each. Let us consider sum as hundred parts. If you find the value of one part, then sum is equal to hundred into value of one part. So this is the concept of parts here. Now, simple interest means interest on sum. That is, sum means money invested initially. So, interest on money invested initially is the simple interest. This is same for every year. Simple interest is same for every year. Now, compound interest means interest on sum plus interest on interest received on previous years. Interest received on previous years. So, this will vary every year. That means compound interest increases every year. So, this is the concept of simple interest and compound interest. So, I will use the same concept here. I don't use any formula here. Just use the concept. That is simple interest for first year, second year, and third year is same for every year. That is symbol interest is interest on sum. Here interest rate is ten percent each for three years. So I write three years here. Now for every year I will get ten percentage on this sum. That is ten percentage of hundred part is the sum. Now percentage and double zero get cancelled. Ten into one is equal to ten part. So symbol interest I received for. Every year is ten part. So for for the first year I will receive ten part. For the second year I will receive ten part. For the third year I will write receive ten parts. Now total thirty parts I will receive to hundred parts as simple interest. Now compound interest. Compound interest means interest on sum plus interest on Interest received on previous year. Now interest on sum for the first year is ten percentage of hundred parts, which is equal to ten part. And there is no previous year in the first year, so I only receive interest on sum for the first year. For the second year, I will receive interest on sum as ten parts, plus I will receive interest on the interest received on previous year. Here interest received on previous year is ten parts. So ten percentage of the ten part I will receive on second year as well. That is here percentage means divided by hundred. So double zero double zero get cancelled. Remaining is one into one one part. So I will receive one part extra in the second year as interest. Now, for the first year, I received ten parts as interest. For the second year, I received eleven part. But here you can see, for simple interest, I only receive ten parts. So, interest vary every year. Now, third year, interest received on sum is equal to ten part. Then, interest received for the previous year. Previous year. I got how much interest previous year? I got ten part plus ten part plus one part. That is total twenty one part I received on previous year as interest. So ten percentage of the twenty one part. Here percentage means divided by hundred. Now zero zero cancel. Twenty one by ten is equal to two point one part. That is on third year I will receive. 2.1 part as interest. On third year, I will receive 2.1 part as interest. Now you can see, if you take the difference between simple interest and compound interest, this 10 part, 10 part, 10 part, and this 10 part, 10 part, 10 part cancel each other. That means remaining is 1 part plus 2.1 part. This is the difference. This is the difference. That is here. Difference mentioned in the question is rupees one ninety six. 
that is difference between simple interest and compound interest is 186 that 186 is 3.1 part 1 part plus 2.1 part is 3.1 part so 1 part is equal to 186 divided by 3.1 which is equal to 60 if you find the value of 1 part sum is equal to 100 part which is equal to 100 into 60 that is 6000 so option d is your answer